think when it comes to the power of positivity, it's on good days, on bad days, just being there for your teammates. That's okay, you got the next one, y'all. We believe it, and that's something else. If you say something, believe in it. 1,000% confidence. Let's go. Let's go. Turn first the world on three. One, two, three. Turn first the world. The power of positivity, I think it just kind of shows what kind of teammate you are and who you are as a person. And I think positivity just shows a lot about the impact you can make in a program. It's just made me mentally so much better overall as a player and just how I function in my everyday life. Woo! I knew you had it in you. That's the power of positivity. You guys, oh shoot. Somebody put that in the all access. Well, I think the power of positivity is something huge that Coach Karn and the coaching staff has brought into our program since day one. For every tournament and everything, um, we typically get paired up with partners and write positive things about one another. Just as like a confidence booster almost, I feel like going about things with a positive mindset will definitely help your performance um, and help uplift each other. I'm extremely proud of how far you have come and grown over this last year. I'm so thankful to have you as a teammate and a friend. We found that some student athletes are really good at saying positive things to other people all the time and others aren't so comfortable in that space. And so the positive player cards has just given the team an opportunity to write down something positive that their teammates bring to the program, bring to the team, bring to practices every day or games every day. And it's not skill related. So it's more like the appreciation they have for each other. They can look back and know that their teammates really do value them because it's written down. They don't have to say it in those moments, but if it's written down, it's with them forever. We're proud of you. We cannot wait to continue to watch you be great. <laughs> Softball is a game of failure, so you have to learn how to handle failing. I think just how you approach the game in general is super important. There was a specific moment in our season where we were practicing giving high fives and practicing the way we can approach our teammates to uplift them. One game we made everybody come off of the fence and give everybody a high five who came in regardless of the result that they got in their at bat or defensively. Hey, great job on that ball. Here we go, here we go. Curve three. In the next game, when it wasn't something that we necessarily addressed, Gracie took it upon herself after the first out was made offensively to pop off of the fence and go give that person a high five and say something uplifting to them, but nobody else followed her. And she looked back at me and was like, are we doing this? <laughs> and I just gave her the thumbs up and let her know that I don't have to force you to support each other. And since then, it's kind of just taken off. It's something that I would have done regardless because I know the power of like putting in the positivity and supporting each other. And all it takes is for one person to do it to allow the others to know where they should be. I think they're really buying into the fact that the more high fives, the more support they're getting from their teammates, the more comfortable they feel. That a girl. That's a great pitch. But most importantly, if, if I'm preaching positivity, I have to be about it. And it's how I go about my daily life, so it's how I love to coach as well. Just the way that she's changed this environment for our team has just done a full 180 of where it used to be and how she cares for each and every one of us and how the assistant coaches care for each and every one of us about our daily lives has really just shown who they are as people and who they want us to be. My teammates have completely bought in and I'm so proud of them and how they come out to practice every single day, even on their off days. It's been clear that we've made positivity part of this culture at this school. I would hope that it would continue forever and I can even look back to my early years, the way that the girls who were older than me uplifted me. would hope that I could pass that on to the younger girls so that they can continue to be a legacy that Maryland softball is a team where positivity is first.